Hi y'all, it is me Madison. I hope you're doing so so well today. Today y'all, I have something very special to share with you today. So I recently went on a grocery shopping adventure, which is my like third time I've been out since self-isolation in the past month and it was an adventure let me tell you we waited in line for an hour around the building I don't mean around the but we went around the shopping center to the very back of the store around the back and we were on the sidewalk of the street behind the store waiting to get into the store <laughs> it was uh, something I've never seen before and um I, and people were like, oh my God, I can't believe you waited in line for an hour to get into the grocery store. But let me tell you, going into the grocery store where there's like not a lot of people and you're able to keep your distance safely away from people and you're not like knocking elbows with people trying to just get around the produce section and banging into carts and things like that, it was honestly lovely. I was also shopping for three people. I was shopping not only for myself and Sugar Nug, my dad and my stepmom had a huge list and I was also shopping for Morgan. So I had a lot to do and being able to be in the grocery store where there's not 5 million thousand people was actually really nice. So anyways, when I left the grocery store and I was on my way to my dad and my stepmom's house, they asked me if I wanted a sewing machine. And I was like, okay, like, sure, I'll take a sewing machine. I'll learn how to sew. Why not? And when I get there, we're all outside. We have this big open area. Well, they have this big open area outside. And um, it it's, by the way, it's so weird because we're all standing there in gloves and uh, face masks and things like that. And it, and we're like, it's, it's so strange because this is the first time I've seen anybody like my loved ones besides sugar nug in a long time and so it's so hard or weird or just strange to not be able to walk up to them and give them a big old hug you know like especially when it's like your parents and so that was that was that's a different story but so we're all standing outside and um my dad is talking and my stepmom brings out this sewing machine and um <laughs> this is the sewing machine i'm going to show it to you this sewing machine right here I'm looking at this old ass sewing machine my dad says you can have my old sewing machine and i'm thinking that my dad got it at a garage sale because uh, he's always going to garage sales or a thrift store because they love going to thrift stores too i wonder where i get it from <laughs> so uh anyways my stepmom is kind of showing me some bells and whistles and my dad goes on to keep talking about it and he said that this was uh, one of the first sewing machines that he ever got a long time ago and I go how long ago he's like oh it was about 1973 and I'm like you what you've had this sewing machine since 1973 and he said yes this sewing machine which I had no idea this he was just like so nonchalant about it I guess he didn't realize how much it would mean to me but uh he goes this sewing machine was purchased off a credit card that your mother and i were qualified for in 1973 from sears and this was the first purchase we made off of that credit card together but this machine was purchased by my dad in 1973 and he said he remembered because it was right around the time my brother was born my brother is way older than me two brothers and he said that um, my mom wanted to get it because she wanted to make some curtains. And I just thought that was very special because this is their first machine that they got together. And when I brought it home, I <laughs> I FaceTimed my mom and I showed her and she's like, what, oh, that looks familiar. Uh, that looks so familiar, but she couldn't remember where she'd seen it before and I told her and she goes oh my god I made so many Halloween costumes on there for your brothers and um, I fixed a lot of the boys clothes and things like that so I was I'm I'm beyond thrilled to have this and um, so again my stepmom she was showing me uh, things about how to use it and whatnot she even wrote on here always turn the wheel towards you so so, do you know how to sew? Do any of y'all know how to sew? I, I've learned before how to use a sewing machine and um, I, 
I'm just so thrilled to have this. What an absolute treat. I, I'm, I treasure this machine. So when we left my dad and my stepmom's house, I was thinking, what can I sew? Face masks. What does everybody need? Face masks. We all need face masks right now because even the stores in my area, you are not allowed to enter the stores unless you have face masks on. And face masks are easy to make. So, y'all, when we were leaving, I was thinking, uh, I don't even have any materials. So we stopped at Walmart on the way home from uh, the grocery, well, my, my dad and my stepmom's house. And when we went in there, there was nothing there was no elastics all of the fabric was gone there was a couple of tubes of fabric and some felt and things like that the only thing the only fabric that was left was a package hanging up in the fabric area a little package of strips of fabric and let me show you this is what the strips look like that they had at walmart they're 42 inches long by two and a half inches wide and i'm like i I don't know I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this material and just see what I can do with it so I figured I could sew them together and put four together like this and make one long strip of material and it'll give me an opportunity to practice my stitches and then cut those to make panels of fabric so that's what I did check this out see so I sewed a bunch of them together and then I cut them into strips and that is what I've been practicing making masks on, y'all. So I've made a total of four so far. A couple of them are tragic. They are masks that only a mother would love. And let me show you. This one's not the worst of the two. Also, there's no elastic anywhere to be found so I'm making my own straps. This one, the filter was supposed to be on the outside but are on the inside but i sewed it to where it when you flip it it turns on the outside and also there's a big hole right here so this one's a little a little tragic then i made this one which looks like a freaking gotex pad this is the worst one out of the bunch but i think i don't know i was getting ahead of myself and i was thinking oh i can do this without paying attention to directions because i know everything but uh <laughs> So tragic. I'm gonna try to scrap the straps and start again. <laughs> it's so small. Like, okay, you get the idea, right? See, and then you strap it up like this. Two straps down here and then two right here. See? It's too small for my big face, but you get it. I mean, it'll work in a pinch, right? After watching video after video after video on how to make masks, I came across this video where a nurse was showing us how to make nurse preferred masks on um, her video and she explained that the reason why these masks are great for nurses is because they can wear them over their N95 masks to make them last longer and they have straps that are not elastic so they can be washed many times over and over again and there's a filter pocket right here and also I put in a little nose wire right here so and it's easy to put on and off and keep like the the germs away from you but so I made this one and this one actually turned out pr pretty well I'm gonna keep this one for myself and learn how to make more this, the, this is a string from a pair of pajama pants I ordered some rope off Amazon and hopefully that'll get here soon so I can make some more but check this out you put it around your neck and then you tie it up here like this do you see how it covers all the way down under the neck and then you're able to pinch the wire right here and it covers the sides of the face nicely I mean this isn't too bad right oh there's a thread popping out right here but this is one of the best ones that I made. It is the best one that I made. The second best one that I made, Alicia came over and uh, I threw it out the door at her and she has that one. But these, <laughs> now because masks are in such high demand, there are so many people sewing masks for donations, which is great. But because of that, there are a lot of supplies that are out, like Amazon Prime is out of, 
almost everything uh, so it has to be shipped from overseas local stores don't have anything for curbside pickup or delivery things like that but I was able to find some fabric off of Etsy which is right here and um, she the 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 what I think is a woman but the person who runs the store um, was able to sell she only had a few left I'm gonna link her store down below was able to sell some panels of fabric which I got right here so I want to open them up and see what we got this is from little things by George and it's run by Jaylene she also has an eBay store so I purchased some panels of fabric and I want to make some masks out of these fabrics okay one thing that I've learned is that I'm not cutting my fabrics evenly and that's been a problem because again sewing is very detail oriented I'm not very detail oriented and I'm thinking that I can get away with just kind of willy-nilly cutting things but that's not the case things need to be even and that is what I'm learning oh look I even made my own ruler out of some cardboard because I didn't have one <laughs> so I made that anyways let's check out the fabric beautiful I've washed my hands and I sanitized my machine too I've been um, spraying it down and wiping it down after I use it this is pretty it's cute little dainty fabrics the um, that's two of the same perfect the videos that I've been watching have been saying um, that they would like the masks to be double-sided, different materials on each side so they know which side has been touching the face and which is the exterior side. And also they have um, requested that you keep in mind that both men and women will be wearing the masks. So <clears throat> I got some solid color material coming in the mail and um, I'm gonna try to, um, and I'm gonna get some masks made out of those. So I want to donate them to people in my community first, the, the ones that I'm learning how to make, and hopefully ask for some small donations just to recover the cost of the uh, materials. And then once I get pretty solid at them, I want to donate the nice ones, probably made out of this material, to the hospitals and things like that. So, I figure we could practice making some masks today, shall we? This is my favorite mask that I've made so far, so I'm gonna make another one of these. I cut out some fabric. So we've got the front panel right there, and then we need two of these that we are going to sew for the inside. This mask has a um, filter pocket, so that's why I also like these masks. So the first thing we're doing is stitching the inside panel. Fold it like that, and then fold it over, and then we fold this down like that. Okay, you see it? Look, and then that way we made a pocket for our filter. <laughs> oh my god. Our 10 by 8 piece goes down flat like this. Then we take our interior piece. So face up the outside and then, okay, then we put this side on here. We're gonna just stitch around this bad boy. Okay, so we gotta cut off corners. Okay, and then we turn it inside out, right side out, okay? Okay, so now we gotta fold in about three fourths of an inch. Yeah, and then we're gonna sew this down. I just put a safety pin on this strap that I made and we're gonna feed this through because I don't know if it's long enough. You're supposed to like sew the flaps over with the straps in the mask already, but I didn't wanna do that because I didn't, I don't know if this is long enough. I have this jewelry wire that I've had in my stash for like ever. So we're gonna use that for a nose wire. 
And we're gonna sew the wire in there. Don't sew over the wire with your needle because you might break your needle, right? Right. So this one has the nose piece in it. My stitches are still not as straight as they should be, but I'm working on it. But you see how it has that right there? Cool, and it has a little pocket for a filter. Sweet. So, <laughs> I need to take a break and step away from the sewing machine because I'm starting to lose it a little bit. So, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed watching me sew, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.